Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Arslan, the Warriors of Legend. Now that we're caught up with free mode, we can go ahead and continue the story. Now, if I remember, we're back right where Silver Mask revealed his identity to Andragoras. So let's see where we go from here. <laughs> このままでは<笑> 娘の命が惜しくはないのか。やめてくれ。やれ。やめないか。なんだ、お前。ふん。誰だか知らんが、みんなまとめて始末してやる。うん、here <笑> So as you guys can see through that scene, it doesn't matter how righteous the cause or, you know, what's going on, the faith or the government or whatever, there's always going to be scumbags taking advantage of the innocent. There, there's no exceptions. It's, it's human nature. And we are getting a lot of skill cards. That is awesome. I like that. The villagers are evacuating to the central square, defeat the Lusitanian soldiers taking on the villagers. Well, we are very familiar with this concept. Unfortunately, these privates are pretty easy to kill. And there was one more. Ah, okay, he ran past us. Hey, you come here. Two villagers are still under attack. Yep, I'm on it. So, I guess once we defeat the private troops, that's when the corporals show up, maybe? Are we gonna do this by rank? There, all the villagers hang tough. That's good. And why not? Let's see what happens. That was a bit overkill, but it's okay. This was... did I miss a card? And I guess I didn't, but more villagers are in trouble, so... Let's go. This is a good time for Arslan to... Prove. I mean, I, it, he doesn't need a whole lot of proof. Nice dodge. But you can see that he's definitely going to be a ruler of the people. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> but he doesn't want to see innocent people hurt. I honestly think if the Lusitanians treated their people with any semblance of righteousness, with the righteousness that they preach, or some of the justice, that's probably the better word, I think a lot of people would be a lot more accepting of them. Hang tough, guys. Almost there. So I guess um, Arslan backtracked. This is the same village that we saw with Ferengis. So that sucks. They converted, they converted to the Lusitanian faith, thinking that was going to keep them safe after that bandit attack, I would assume. And nope. They just... Uh, they go from bad to worse. True justice, indeed. Got a lot of with a wing comrade card. And rendezvous with the villager. Unfortunately, we haven't needed to uh, grab any items or anything. There's a lot of easy battles in between the difficult ones. 
当にありがとうございますこれはせめてものお礼ですどうかお受け取りください What are we getting? Oh, a recipe book. Awesome. Oh, dear. Here come the heavies. It's okay, Arslan. Don't panic. That's the big... That's the big issue with Arslan when he fights. It's not necessarily his skill level, because his skills are improving. It's just his kind nature. It, it, it sometimes gets the better of him, and he panics in these situations. He has trouble fighting under pressure. Because he thinks he's going to let people down, I would assume. And they just rode right by me, didn't they? Come here, guy. That's one. Want to make sure that we get all the, the gold and shinies. I actually kind of like this. My first initial thought is, like, this is a lot easier than a lot of the warrior games that I played on normal difficulty. But then I realized that in the anime, Arslan and Daryun and everyone can just slice through these, these kind of guys with little to no effort. So it, it makes sense in terms of the narrative. You wouldn't want Bob number two or whatever, being able to get a shot in our, on Daryun or anything like that. New wave of soldiers. And you just ran right by me, didn't you? It's very rude to ignore royalty. And I think one of the reasons I really like Arslan is it kind of reminds me of the Hospitalar, or Hospitaler, I don't know how to actually pronounce that term, from Kingdom of Heaven. Now, Kingdom of Heaven is arguably in my, it definitely is in my top five favorite movies, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. And I, I can't really tell you why, but one of my favorite characters in that movie is the Hospitalar, who talks about, he, that, and keep in mind that the Hospitalars were warrior priests like monks with armor and he talked that he put no stock in religion faith was a different thing um, with the world religion he had seen madness and whatnot done in the eyes of God and that's oh that was it cool and that goodness was in right action and defending those who couldn't help themselves and I think Arslan is very similar in that that he doesn't care about his nobility or his rank or his title. Uh oh. There's the uh, kid from so f long ago. ああ。<laughs> ショータイを預かっている。あの時とは立場が真逆だな。ルシタニア人はもうパルスの奴隷にはならない。奴隷にはしない。お前がしなくても、アンドラゴラスやアルスランは下だろうよ。パルスの愚民どもは悔い改め
they really drank the Kool-Aid of their respective cultures. And you can see while Arslan's getting kind of a crash course in what is particular in the wrongs of his society, the young squire that he met, he's getting exposed to these things probably at the exact same rate, but is focusing on faith first. So it's going to take a long time to get the squire to come around to any kind of sensible thinking. But as I said before, Arslan not caring about his lineage and just trying to do the right thing reminds me a lot of the Hospitaller from Kingdom of Heaven, and that's probably one of the reasons I like him so much. But that'll go ahead and end the story mode for today, and we will pick back up next time. I'm not sure if we've unlocked any new free mode stuff, but we will uh, we'll see what happens. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.